Hello everyone, our theme for today is biochemistry of arginase. Arginase, also called arginine aminidase, cannabinase, L-arginase, arginine transaminidase, is a manganese containing enzyme. The reaction catalyzed by this enzyme is arginine plus water and formed arnesine plus urea. It is the final enzyme of the urea cycle. It is ubiquitous to all domains of life. Arginase belonged to the urea hydrolyze family of enzymes. Arginase catalyzes the fifth and final step in the urea cycle, a series of biochemical reactions in mammals during which the body disposes of harmful ammonia. Specifically, arginase converts L-arginine into L-arnesine and urea. Mammalian arginase is active as a trimer, but some bacterial arginases are hexameric. The enzyme requires a two-molecule metal cluster of manganese in order to maintain proper function. These manganese ions coordinate with water, orienting and stabilizing and molecule and allowing water to act as a nucleophile and attack L-arginine hydrolyzing it into arnesine and urea. In most mammals, two isozymes of the enzyme exist. The first, arginase 1, function in the urea cycle and is located primarily in the cytoplasm of hepatocytes, liver cells. The second isozyme, arginase 2, has been implicated in the regulation of intracellular arginine arnesine levels. It is located in the mitochondria of several tissues in the body with most abundance in the kidney and prostate. It may be found at lower levels in macrophages, lactating mammary glands and brain. The second isozyme may be found in the absence of other urea cycle enzymes. Arginase 2 is co-expressed with nitric oxide synthase in smooth muscle tissue, such as the muscle in the genitals of men and women. The contraction and relaxation of these muscles has been attributed to an O synthase, which causes rapid relaxation of smooth muscle tissue and facilitates engorgement of tissue necessary for normal sexual response. However, since enosynthase and rare arginase compete for the same substrate, L-arginine, overexpressed arginase can affect enosynthase activity and enodependent smooth muscle relaxation by depleting the substrate pool of L-arginine that would otherwise be available to enosynthase. In contrast, inhibiting arginase with 2S amino 6 boronohexanoic acid ABH or other boronic acid inhibitors will maintain <coughs> normal cellular levels of arginine, thus allowing for normal muscle relaxation and sexual response. Ar arginase is a controlling factor in both male erectile function and female sexual arousal and is therefore a potential target for treatment of sexual dysfunction in both sexes. Additionally, supplementing the diet with additional L-arginine will decrease the amount of competition between arginase and enosynthase by providing extra substrate for each enzyme. Arginase deficiency typically refers to decreased function of arginase 1. The liver is a form of arginase. This deficiency is commonly referred to as hyperarginemia or arginemia. The disorder is hereditary and autosomal recessive. It is characterized by lowered activity of arginase in hepatic cells. It is considered to be the rarest of the heritable defects in ureogenesis. Arginase deficiency, unlike other urea cycle disorders, doesn't entirely prevent urea genesis. 
A proposed reason for the continuation of arginase function is suggested by increased activity of arginase 2 in the kidneys and of subjects with arginase 1 deficiency. Researchers believe that buildup of arginine triggers increased expression of arginase 2. The enzymes in the kidney will then catalyze urogenesis compensating somewhat for a decrease in arginase 1 activity in the liver. Due to this alternate method of removing excess arginine and ammonia from the bloodstream, subjects with arginase deficiency tend to have longer lifespans than those who have other urea cycle defects. Symptoms of the disorders include neurological impairment, dementia, retardation of growth and hyperammonemia. While some symptoms of the disease can be controlled via dietary restrictions and pharmaceutical developments, no cure or completely effective therapy currently exists. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe our channel and share your video. Goodbye.